early on in the lit path, one of the key mistakes that I made was, was I really wanted to fit in. I wanted to be accepted um, more so than I wanted to learn. And the thing that Heidi just noted in the chat is, is, is really important. Um, if, if I sensed that there was something very different about Heidi than me, I didn't really want to get into it I, because I didn't want her to feel that I was very different. I, I wanted her to like me and I wanted her to accept me. And that was true for the entire team. And that didn't allow for good, real engagement in, until, I don't know, several weeks or a couple of months into the whole uh, relationship when, when Heidi and I realized um, that because we were complementary, I was kind of an armchair professor, you know, way too much thinking instead of acting. She was a, a micro tactician, you know, way too much action instead of thinking. And those complementary um, uh, characteristics helped, it, it helped us to understand that, but it was, but I took too long to get there. I took a long time to get there because I just wanted to fit in. I wanted to be accepted. The other mistake that kind of rolls into that whole um, early on engagement piece was that I got, I got wound around the axle with trying to understand all of the language that we use in leadership and practice. There, there's a lot of lingo, there's a lot of jargon, there's a lot of um, uh, sort of labels and shortcuts that we use. And, and the intent behind all these things is like any other organization, you start to develop your own language to allow you to communicate um, like more effectively. But, but I was so wrapped up in wanting to know, wanting to know the right time to use the acronym RAB, you know, for, for red arrow behavior or um, what a um, what UFC meant for unfiltered communication, or you know what an UDL meant for undisciplined liar. I got so wrapped up in the language of learning the program that it it kept me back from like fully engaging. I didn't want to look stupid, so I, so I would force myself to use the language. And, and when people were talking, instead of really listening to them, I would be thinking about how to respond using that lip language. So, so here's the lessons I learned from that. First of all, we had some really good team coaches from, from Next Jump that would catch you doing that and, and gently but firmly, you know, offer you coaching like, hey, you just kind of backed up the acronym truck and, and dumped you know, 20 acronyms into the conversation instead of really engaging to it. Um, so, so that was good in terms of the coaches keeping us on track. The other lesson for me is it, it, it actually became exhausting after a while. It, it became very, very tiring to try to think all the time about the language instead of the actual engagement. So for me, the growth, the growth was, was letting go and, and relaxing from that need to be perfect in the language. And um, the, the growth was also around the idea that we can uh, coach each other instead of telling each other.